Hello, YouTubers. Okay, uh, this video is going to be about uh, free hot water. Uh, it's going to be a little bit about uh, getting married systems together. It's going to be a little bit about thermoelectrics, a little bit about refrigeration. So, uh, but it's basically, in a nutshell, going to be about heat reclamation. Uh, heat reclamation is losing heat that uh, is lost otherwise. And we've talked about that already in the thermoelectric generator uh, video. And I want to talk about heat reclamation a little, a little more. Uh, this represents a, uh, a drawing of a window air conditioner unit the, to point out something to you about it. A window air conditioner unit is just a motor in the center, a fan with opposite blade pitches so it blows air both directions. A radiator here, a radiator here, a condenser and an evaporator, right? And then you got a compressor, and that compressor is, is changing that state, okay? So, a window air conditioner, that's a 110 small window air conditioner, sell at Walmart, 5,000 BTU window air conditioner. An uh, important note here is, is that that puts out 7,500 BTUs to the outside as, as heat. So really in the wintertime you can take that window air conditioner and turn it around and it would be a better heater. It's actually a more efficient process using it for heat than it is for, uh, for cooling. Uh, so if you'll notice that we're talking about a, about a 25% increase. So uh, one, of these, one, of, one of the great point towards uh, free hot water is, is uh, when I realize that some of these houses are, you know, 60, 75, 100,000 BTU requirements, right, in HVAC. Uh, so if they're putting that much BTUs of cool air in your house, then all summer long, uh, if they're putting that, let's just go with 100,000 BTUs for simple mathematics, then that you realize that you're throwing away 125,000 BTUs out to the outside, giving that heat off. Because you're not really making cold or hot, you're just pumping it and moving it around. That's what a heat pump is. You see, this little deal here, you'd have to take it out and flip it around to get it to run the opposite way. But a heat pump really just changes with valves in there and switch, switches the condenser and evaporator cool, right? And it works the opposite way in the wintertime. That's what a heat pump does. It's an air conditioner that swips it, flips it inside with valves. Well, I took the uh, hot coil off of a small air conditioner, put it into a vat of water, and I uh, wanted to see the results on it. Well, the results are, is that it, the water is nine times more dense than air, and so the air conditioner compressor here works easier, less cycles, less often, somewhere around 20, to, between 20 and 30 percent. So it dumping the heat instead of outside into the air that's less dense, into water that's nine times more dense, is about 25% easier for the air conditioner, okay? That's one. Uh, so when I realized this, I thought, well, I can stick this in a drum and I can reclaim this heat. I thought I had a great idea. This was a few months ago. And then I found this old guy, and like I said, guys, it's hard to have an original thought. I thought I was on something that was going to change something to do with an industry changer. <laughs> uh, nope. Guy in Florida, hotspotenergy.com. This guy's made a nice little heat reclaimer. A little heat reclaimer is a small panel that goes outside your house next to your air conditioner uh, outside part. And it uh, basically, it takes your HVAC into that box uh, and instead of pumping it out to your outside condenser or, or compressor, it uh, shoots it in and it keeps a 100, water, 100 degree temperature uh, constant on a, and on, on a, you set up a two tank system. And uh, the Insta Hot off your air conditioner or the hot spot off the air conditioner feeds your pre-tank, keeps it at 100 degrees. And the reason it only heats it to 100, it could heat it higher, but after it gets it to 100 degrees, the, air, the compressor here actually starts working harder pushing it in. So what you do is you just set up two tanks, one right before the other one. And you can really buy two electrical tanks uh, or a gas tank and electrical tank. They make special tanks for that, but you don't really need it. You can just use an extra hot water tank. And if anything ever goes out with it, you just rob the parts over to the other one. 
So you set up the 100 gallon tank to pre-feed your hot water tank so it keeps that, all that, it keeps that up. Now, another option there would be to preheat your water through your air conditioner and then use this, you know, a small Insta-Hot, which requires less voltage or less wattage. They'll only increase your water temperature like 30, 40 degrees. Well, from 100 to 40 degrees is not bad. If it was well watered, if it was 50 to 90, that wouldn't be enough. But a small Insta-Hot with this, with this hot spot would work. I encourage you guys to look at this hot spot. Now, this will also work in like uh, commercial applications to heat pools. So think of uh, hotels, motels around the country that are all this air conditioner they're using inside, and then they're paying to heat the pool as well. And so, a house that has a hundred thousand BTU requirement, and you're throwing one hundred twenty-five thousand BTUs out the door, you realize that that's how much heat do you think it? How much electricity do you, and energy do you have to buy? to heat 50 gallons of water, <laughs> right? Well, we've, 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 we've talked about that, right? And so we've talked about a 55 gallon drum from 40 to 200 degrees will hold 77,000 BTUs, right? So uh, imagine uh, how much you can stuff in there. It's quite a bit. Uh, so hotspotenergy.com, it's a heat reclamation. You guys, are smart guy, a good thinker there, to come up with a great product. Uh, uh, basically 100 gallons of free hot water, 100 degree hot water a day. Now, anywhere that there's a condenser and a compressor, it, that applies, okay? So what I want to tell you is your, your freezer, your air conditioner, your uh, refrigerator, all those things have a condenser and they're all pumping heat out into the house. My question to you is, is, could it be that the heat from your air conditioner, from your freezer, from your solar evacuated tubes on the roof, and from your refrigerator, and from your wood stove could all be combined into one hot water tank, and that used as not only hot water, but as heat for the wintertime? Now, it could be not just a condenser and a compressor, our thermal electrics would work also. So one of the other questions, and I don't know if anybody's tried this or not. It could be an original thought. How about this, guys? How about a refrigerator and a hot water tank that are side by side? If you've got a thermoelectric or if you've got a uh, condenser, compressor set up, they got a hot side and a cold side. Show me one appliance, or there's a dual appliance, that is using both the hot side and the cold side of this, that are using, putting both of these to use at the same time, right? So, any of these could be combined into one, but wouldn't it be better if all of them were combined in one instead of in reclaiming all of that heat? So each one of these put out more heat than they do cool anyway, so why aren't we collecting that and putting it back here? Now we could have several different tanks to uh, offset that. You could have an 80 degree tank, 100 degree tank, and a 120 degree tank, and just feed one would trickle into the other one and then it would be up in temperature, and then you could cycle which one of these you wanted in and out of which one of the tanks that you wanted so it would keep the, the temperature that you needed. So you might, uh, for an example, uh, you might take the freezer and the AC and put it in this one, but this 80 degree tank, you might just run your water from air machine in it to it, or your solar tubes, or solar evacuated tubes. All of that could be married. So what I'm trying to show you is how to, or point to is learning how to marry all this stuff together and putting it together in one household system. And I don't know if anybody's tried to do the refrigerator and the hot water tank, but if you had thermoelectrics getting cold on one side and it's getting hot on the other side, wouldn't it make sense to either build a refrigerator with a tank built into it somewhere or offset somewhere where the hot and the cold would work both off of one appliance, right, to make two different processes happen. Uh, yeah, uh, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the water from air machine. They run about 400 watts. They're uh, really an evaporator, uh, not a, uh, but a uh, dehumidifier. They're taking humidity from the air and making five to eight gallons of pure drinking water a day. Uh, they're, they're also using, uh, they have the option of going with the coil or the uh, uh, TEGs. Uh, those can be used as an air conditioner too, right? Because they're you, they're cooling down, uh, they're cooling down to uh, to make the condense the water condense. And if you exhaust some of these water from air machines are now coming as a dual appliance. 
And they're using both as one, you know, they're using both sides for the, uh, from as far as I'm aware the first time. So they're making the cool side uh, make the uh, water and it's also blowing cool into the house and the house side, the, out, the hot side, it's got a little four inch dryer vent hose and it goes to the outside and so this will condense and make 5,000 BTUs of cool air and it'll cool the house off, right? So if you guys don't know what the water from air machines are, they're pretty cool too. But really this is a heat reclamation and really when I first come to the realization that I'm throwing away more, more hot air, more BTUs outside off of my HVAC unit than it requires, then I go buy that energy again to heat my hot water. Now, heating in the HVAC is about 60% of your energy bills and hot water is about 20%. Uh, this here, being able to tie these together in one form into one tank as a heat reclaimer will be a great way, because then all these systems would work. You'd have a wood stove running to your hot one, you'd have a uh, some of them running to your 100, and some of the lighter ones running to your 80 degree tank, and then all would be robbing it, and it would be your hot water. Uh, I haven't even put a pencil to it yet to see what I think the overall savings would be. But uh, again, anytime you get these systems to work together, the, same, the, the sum of the systems working together is better than the uh, parts individually evaluated and standing alone. So this is a heat reclamation. If you guys know anything about Sears ratings, if they, if they use Sears ratings on this, this would be like a Sears rating at a 50, but they won't let them use them on this, right? It's because it'd be too hot. This will heat your pool, it'll heat your hot tub, or it's just free hot water. Um, and it's a good way to get the systems to marry together. Okay guys, this has been uh, free hot water and heat reclamation. Thanks for watching.